Here comes Jingle's own cereal, shot with sugar. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Yippee! Sugar Pops! It's a treat that millions of kids all know. You just pour on some milk. Come on, let's go! Kellogg's Sugar, sugar Corn, Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. If you like to box, put on the gloves. You stop what you're doing. Cause everyone loves sugar pops from the box. Who needs a spoon? They're sweet for treats. Get a box real soon. Kellogg's sugar, sugar corn, corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Now, Kellogg's sugar corn pops are shot with sugar. And this pure aluminum bag keeps them crackling crisp. Ready for action. Pops are sweeter. The taste is new. Shot with sugar. Through and through. Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Yeah. Grab! Grab! Get that for sure. The rats are coming after us. How many are there? The sheriffs and the ladies with feathers in their hats. Now, simmer down, Jeannie. If the sheriffs come with lady folks, why, it ain't likely he's looking for war. That's what you think. A man was halfway to town, they tried to take hold of me right then and there. Said they were going to take him and put me in an orphan's home, and you in jail. What? So help me, grab this is the truth. Stand by the guns, Jeannie, and back my way. Oh, Mr. Quinley! Good morning, Mr. Quinley. Maybe it is, maybe it ain't. First state your business, Sheriff. Well, sir, it's this. We have the welfare of both you and Jeannie at heart. We'd like to place your granddaughter in a nice home and provide for you in your old age. My granddaughter's got a good home right here. And with the Lord's help, I'll keep on providing for her. Now you get going or I'm going to make a couple of feathers fly. Do your duty, Sheriff. We're prepared to do ours. All right. I told you it was a madman, ladies. We can't risk it with you two here. Come on, get out. Pull up, Sheriff. Pull up. Stop the horses. Well? We'll be safe here, Sheriff. You go right back and serve those papers. Maybe i better take you back to town first, Mrs. Bramwich. I'll brook no further delay, Mr. Hastings. You will perform your official duty now. All right. And while you're about it, mind you don't hurt that poor little child. And where you are, Sheriff. I come out to get you, Quinley, and I'm not leaving without you. Bring that girl out of here before she gets hurt. That dodge don't work, Sheriff. Jeannie and me stand together. Now get out! Hey, Bill. Isn't Graham Quinley's place somewhere down in that valley? Answer your question? I hope that's a 20 pound turkey he's shooting at. We better go see. He 
You get rid of them, Brad? You bet I did, honey. They don't linger long when I bear down on them. <laughs> Put that gun up there, will you, Jeannie? You think they'll come back, Brad? I don't think they will. Hello, Hastings. Well, Bill Hickok, what are you doing here? Well, I heard the shooting. What are you doing exchanging compliments with old Gramps? Oh, it's a duty and no pleasure at all, Bill. Let's get off the rifle range and I'll explain. Good enough. Well, howdy, ladies. Who are you? I'm Jingle P. Jones, Deputy United States Marshal, at your service. Now, who are you? I'm Mrs. Ebenezer Bramlage. Ladies, I want you to meet United States Marshal Hickok. This is Mrs. Bramlage and Miss Dithering. How do you do, ladies? How do you do? They are president and vice president of the Civic Betterment League. Uh-huh. All right, what's this all about, Sheriff? We got a warrant for old Gramps' arrest. Non-payment of taxes, non-support of child, admitted and irresponsible behavior. What is this, Sheriff? Don't sound like Gramp Quinley to me. Well, the old man's been out of his head the last few months. Talks about seeing prowlers, somebody after him, stuff like that. Getting so he takes a shot at every stranger he sees. He's not fit to raise a child. I'm authorized here to take charge of the poor dear and see that she gets placed in a proper home. Before you go any further, you mind if we have a talk with him? Would I mind? Bill is hoping you'd say that. You're an old friend of his. Maybe you can reason with him. We'll see. Come along, Jingles. Thanks, Bill. Thanks a lot. You know, something looks awful fishy about this. We'll soon find out. Grant, somebody's coming. <laughs> Grant, the wild man and Jingle. Well, snap my galluses. Let's go and meet them. Come on. Wild man and Jingle. Hi, get in high. You laugh. Oh, I'm good. Jeannie, how are you? Gramps, how are you? Come on in the house and get a cup of coffee. Well, Jeannie's good. made some pudding. Come on. Come on, I just made some pudding. Pudding by you? My what riles me is some fella broke in here and, uh, and turned my house upside down. Now, that was just a half an hour before the sheriff came here this morning. You sure you haven't got a bankroll stashed around here someplace? Oh, everybody knows I ain't got any money. They must be after something, Gramps. Anything turned up missing? Well, when I was invaded last week, I was missing some tax receipts. Yeah, that's one thing most folks don't even like to be reminded of, Grant. <laughs> Would you care for more pudding, Jingles? Well... Oh, come on. It's very nourishing. Well, as long as you insist, just a teeny-weeny little helping. Okay. Well, now, here, just a little more than that, you know. Men in our line of work got to keep fit, you know. <laughs> well, right, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute here. It's gone. What's gone, Gramps? The deed to my property. I had it in here and it's gone. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about it. They probably have a record of it down the county office. Yeah, I know, but who'd want to steal a deed? Anybody want this property or want you off of it? Oh, who'd want this old shack here? What about the land? Anything valuable on it? Well, I got an acre of fair land, but it's just enough to grow greens for Jeannie and me, that's all. Mm -hmm. Jingles, maybe you and I ought to take a look around outside. Yeah, maybe we better go take a look. Yeah, and if you find any gold mines, let me know, will you? Would you mind if Maggie and I came along? Of course not. You can keep us from getting lost. <laughs> Come on, Maggie. Come on, baby. What do you expect to find, Wild Bill? Well, I'm not sure. But one thing's certain. Whenever anybody does something, no matter how foolish, they always have a reason for it. What are you waiting here for? Just after I got the property deed, the sheriff showed up and began shooting. Thought I'd better stick around and see how it worked out. Good thing, too. The old man got some help. Help? What kind of help? Pretty good. Looks like Wild Bill Hickok from here. Well, that's just fine. This looks like a chance to get the old man in some real trouble. We better get out of here.
That's it. I missed it. Somebody else shooting over there. Come on. Who are you shooting at, Grant? There were two of them, but I could swear one was the fellow that broke into my shack this morning. Well, I hate to say this, Gramps, but I don't think you saw anybody. You, you talking to me like that? That's not all, sir. I'm placing you under arrest and your granddaughter in protective custody. Bill, I, you can't. I'll handle that. this, Jingles. If you want to know what the charges are, it's attempted murder. I believe you're the one that just shot at me. Me? If you and Jingles are against me, I haven't got a friend left in the world. Bring him along, Jingles. Come on, Gramps. Oh. Well, like you said, Sheriff, it's not a pleasant duty, but there they are. Thanks, Marshal. Come on, Jeannie. Don't go in there, child. You come with me. I want to stay with my grandpa. Now you go with Mrs. Bramage, honey. She treats you good. I don't want to. The Cranleys always hold their chins up and look the world in the eye. Now you do as I say. Yes, sir. I'm ready to go, ma'am. All right, Sheriff. Well, you ought to be proud of this day's work. You know Gramps doesn't shoot anything but a breech loader, and if you had a half a ear, you could have told that wasn't any breech loader that fired at us today. I know. Well, for the love of my... Well, then why'd you put him in jail? For his own protection. What else? Well, for a while, I thought you'd gone against him. Jingles P. Jones, you know me better than that. I know as well as you do that Gramps didn't do the shooting. But now that he and Jenny are safe, we can spend full time finding out who did shoot. Well, you're not asking for much, are you? Where do we start? Gramps Cabin. Right. What was it, Bill? Somebody's up there. Jingles. Go around that way. Hey, Bill! It's Jeannie! Anyway, I haven't played this game in years. Now, please, Jeannie, we're not going to hurt you. If you hold still long enough, we're going to prove it to you. Yeah. What about Mrs. Bramledge? Does she know you're here? No, I ran away. But why, honey? To prove to you that Gramps didn't shoot at you. And I can prove it, too. I found this cartridge up in the rocks over there. The only kind of gun Gramps uses is the old breech loaders. And they don't use a shell like that anyway. It's a pretty large caliber. Looks like a Sharps buffalo gun to me. Yeah. That ought to prove that Gramps didn't shoot at you. We never thought so in the first place, honey. But we can sure use this shell to trap the man that's been causing your grandpa so much trouble. All we have to do now is to find a man that's got a buffalo gun. Let's go. Come on, come with Uncle Jingle. We'll return to Wild Bill Hickok in just one minute. Here comes Wild Bill's own cereal, shot with sugar. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Yippee! Sugar Pops! Here's the box Mom gets every time she shops. You just add milk. I go for Pops! Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. If you like to go on an all-day hike, you'll stop what you're doing. Here's what you like, sugar pops from the box, just the way they come. You can eat all you want. Don't you want some? Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Now, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops are shot with sugar. 
And this pure aluminum bag keeps them crackling crisp, ready for action. Pops are sweeter. The taste is new. Shot with sugar, through and through. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Did you find the child? I heard she ran away. Yeah, we found her all right. Jingles is taking over to Mrs. Bramwedge's. Well, that's a relief. I was kind of worried. I know you by reputation, Mr. Hickok, but I don't believe we've met. I'm chairman of the Civic Betterment League. My name's Porter. How do you do, Mr. Porter? If you're looking for the sheriff, you won't find him in. Oh? He told me to tell you he'd been called out of town, won't be home till tomorrow. That's too bad. I wanted to ask him a question. Well, could I help? I know about everything that goes on around here. Well, maybe you're good at that. Know anybody in town that owns a Sharps Buffalo gun? A Sharps? Well, offhand. Now, wait a minute. My nephew's quite a sportsman. He knows about every make of gun there is here in town. Tell you what, you come over to our office. No harm in asking him. Good enough. Looks like my nephew isn't here. But here's part of a collection he started himself. Does this look like a Sharps, Mr. Hickok? From this end, I'm afraid it looks very much like a Sharps. I'm afraid it does too, Marshal. Buck! Get his guns. This calls for a little arranging. Too bad old Quindley's in jail. If he was still at large, we could make it look like he plugged Wild Bill with one of his old-fashioned rifles. Now, wait a minute. That'll still work. Do you think you could bust the old man out tonight? Easy. I got a key to the jail. You see, Wild Bill, we think of everything. You've no idea what a neat arrangement we've worked out here. The Civic Betterment League makes a mighty handy blind for hunting game, especially rich game. What's so rich about the Quindley place? That's our secret. You stole these papers. I wonder if you thought of the courthouse records on the Quinley place. I destroyed them myself. Well, Porter, you've just about thought of everything. But you forgot one little thing. My deputy's still around. And a mighty good man he is, too. I hope he stays around for a long time. Because he's the one that's going to kill old Quinley for killing you. If I'd have known about this midnight guard duty, I'd have thought twice about becoming a marshal. You think everything's gonna go all right, Jingles? Where's Bill? You heard what Mr. Porter said, didn't you? He said Bill's into the county seat checking on things. Now you go to bed and get some sleep. Everything's gonna be all right. Well, all right. Breaking you out of here, Grandpa. But I don't want to go. Bill and Jingles are my friends. Jingles explained everything to me. Don't believe them. All they're giving you is a raw deal. Your little granddaughter's out at your place waiting for you. Buck, I don't think we should do this now, Jingles. Oh, stop the gap I... and get going. The horses are out back. All right. Maggie? 
Is it Gramps? We better go see. Jingle! Jeannie, it was a right glad to see you, but what are you doing here? I said, I'm glad to see you, but what are you doing here? Maggie and I thought something was wrong, so we snuck over. Where's Graham? Somebody sprung him out of there, and he's supposed to meet you, and that's a lie. What? Uh, untie me. Come on, now, get me out of here. Untie my hands. Now, get my hat. Now, you go on back to Mrs. Bromley's and get a good night's sleep. I'll find Gramps. Can't Maggie and I help? Now you do as I say. Now go on now. Go on, I'll go find Gramps. Hey, come here. Straight. He's silly. Thinking we can sleep when we're worried about Gramps. We'll saddle a horse as soon as he leaves. Come on, Maggie. I haven't used one of these since I was a lad. Could do some mighty accurate shooting with them, too. Knock the front teeth off a squirrel any time. Sorry I got you in such a mess, Gramps. Can't blame you. Don't think I had Porter figured out myself. Let's see how she handles, Buck. Throw me up a target. There you are, Hunk. Ready? Let her go. Mighty fine gun. Good shooting, too, Hunk. Well, shooting a marshal on the run ought to be easier than a duck on a wing. Turn him loose. He don't need his hands free to run. Fuck you, young and ignorant. You ought to know by now that if a man's killed with rope marks on his wrist, he stay there. Now, do as I say and unloose him so he can work up some circulation. Get up. Now, there's a tough young fella. I'll bet he could lick his weight in hoot owls if it was daytime and he fought him and they couldn't see him. A shut out, you are. All right, Marshal, I'll give you a start and run. See if you can dodge me. All right, have it your way, Porter. Start running, Wild Bill. You're not being a very good sport about this. Oh, well. That must be the deputy. Buck, I'll keep Wild Bill pinned down. You get the deputy.
Dear Paula. Well, scratch my heart. I'm glad to see you kids again. I'm telling you. Dr. Grant, how do you? Where's, where's Bill? Oh, he's over there. Why aren't you going out and... Oh, shucks. He don't need any help. He's just doing fine. Come on, Jenny. You got to get out of there. Yeah, thanks. Well, I grabbed hold of something that just kept slipping right out of my hand, Jingles. That's oil, Gramps. Oil? Sure is. You know, that must have been what Porter and his nephew were after. What were they after that messy stuff for? No good on a farm. You can't grow anything in it. <laughs> You're not going to have to worry about growing anything on it, Jenny. This stuff's going to make you rich. You know, they're already drilling oil wells back in Pennsylvania. But with the new railroads coming out west, and factories springing up, an awful lot of wheels and bearings need grease and oil. Well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he was going to be filthy rich, and all he is is just filthy. <laughs> <laughs> Guy says he'd know my voice if he heard it in a dark room. But here are the voices I'd know if I heard them in a dark room. Kellogg's Rice Krispies saying snap, crackle, and pop. These Rice Krispies are so doggone fresh and crisp, they talk right up to tell you about it. Well, they always do speak up. Oh, I forgot to put on the milk. Not only do you hear them say snap, crackle, and pop, but you get thousands of little energy builders in every box. You get all the nourishment of whole grain rice in every bite. And say, top off Rice Krispies with any fruit in season. There you are, the most mouth-watering, fun-filled breakfast you could want. Get Kellogg's Rice Krispies today and listen to the world's only talking cereal tomorrow morning. Kellogg's Rice Krispies. <laughs>